Hey everyone, Beck here from Design, and I just stumbled onto this really cool tool called Galileo AI, and it's blowing my mind. So it is a text to UI design converter. And you're probably thinking like, sure, there's plenty of these already out there, like custom GPTs where I can type in a text and get a UI output, right? Sure. But what those things do is it really just generates the image. Galileo, on the other hand, not only generates the image, but it also gives you a copyable Figma node that then you can paste into your Figma file. So it's not just the image, it's the design as well. And uh, you pair that with design for bubble and you can go from a text description of whatever page or component you're trying to create to it being in your bubble editor within a minute, right? And if you look through here, uh, it's very mid journey like where you could see uh, what other users have created, just to give you some inspiration get an idea of what's possible. And this looks really cool, like very dynamic pages, like it's pretty cool, dark mode. Uh, it's pretty lefty, uh, hefty, the uh, description here, but this one, a features page for a speech therapist. Pretty neat. Let's create our own and convert it to bubble though. We'll go to text CY and uh, you could select if you want it to be for mobile or web. And it takes about a minute after you enter your prompt for it to generate it. So we'll just use one of the ones that I created earlier. And as for it to create a modern settings page uh, for a SAS, I said, include a couple of input fields have a left navigation bar and then a top navigation bar, right? These two look pretty similar. I think really the only changes are this one doesn't have icons, I think. And then this one does have icons. There's probably other couple of nuanced changes, but this one is uh, a little more unique and it's a really good starting point, right? And uh, I have a couple of input fields. I could upload a profile picture. And the cool thing is just like ChatGPT, I could talk to it and say, hey, make this change, right? Like I really like image number one, but my color palette is X, Y, and Z modified that way, right? But for now, we'll just click this Figma button and it copies it to our clipboard so that we could paste it into Figma. So then I'll open up, let's move the design plugin over here and I will click paste here. And uh, let's see here, click convert. So this component that Galileo created has 196 nodes. And about 98% of them are auto layout. So very cool. Like this, that's what we want to see. Uh, however, about 39% of them are responsive height width, which is still fine. Uh, that just means there's a lot of like fixed width settings in there that we'll just have to uncheck. But all in all, like it's using, you know, columns and groups, um, uh, columns and rows. So we know it's not going to be fixed uh, container layout in bubble, right? So let's convert this to bubble. And let's go to my bubble editor. Let's open up the design plugin. Or the Chrome extension, we'll close it and click paste. And I, I probably could have just gone through here and clicked through all the input fields and marked them as inputs and then mark this as a button. But for this demo, we'll just jump right through it. And we can see here that there it is. It's in my bubble editor, right? Like I, uh, I asked for the prompt. It gave me three examples. I chose this one. And next thing I know, it's already in my bubble editor. Like does no code get even faster? Like, oh my gosh, but I just click preview. There we go, right? Like I have a, a great starting place for a setting space for my account, right? And that's just that one example. Imagine all the different things we can create with this. So really exciting. Um, if anybody knows anybody at the Galileo team, please let me know because I want to reach out to them. And uh, this is just super exciting. Thanks. Uh, I hope you check it out. Take care.